Hi, I'm Madison. If I, like, I literally had everything taken away from me. Everyone left me. Everyone gave up. A clown. That's clown shit. Internet can be an amazing place where people connect, create, find very helpful resources, either for life in general, for school, or it can be so amazing when you discover a community you see yourself in. When you discover your favorite artist and their music, or just a YouTuber you relate to. But sadly, there is not just one side of it, and when the pure evil of humankind starts to show, it can ruin someone's life, make them known for one negative thing they did, and suddenly you're hated because of some disproportionate reason. While your life and mental health can be completely ruined, internet, where it all started, forgets about you in a few months and God knows what are the long-term consequences for you. Everything you know is in your mind. Hey, I'm Sky. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here on my channel, I'm focusing on expressing my views on topics I find interesting and I would say sometimes controversial, but literally every single video I have is about the controversy. But I have opinions, I have views, and I have to put them somewhere, so I'm making YouTube videos. Right now, I want to focus on Madison Beer and the injustice she's been through from the part of the ugly side of the internet, and there's a lot to unpack. And no, I'm not making this video because I'm simping for her but I will admit I have a minor crush on her because you know she's yeah so I'm not gonna make a documentary about Madison Beer but she's this 22 year old artist she's a singer songwriter and also internet personality she actually began posting covers back in the 2012 based on the information I got she kind of blew up when Justin Bieber shared a link to her covers she has also gained a lot of following on Instagram and on TikTok if you know anything about this to apps and the algorithm to blow up looks matter a lot and Madison as we can quite clearly see she has won a genetic lottery to insert a disclaimer just because she's pretty doesn't mean you aren't for better understanding of this video you can also check out my previous video about the whole tiktokers blowing up and the hate they get I'll link down below Madison is a great artist and how she talks about music and how much effort she puts into it really proves it. And as bad as it may sound, her being pretty plays a big role in her success story and eventually in her downfall. It's not a common noun, but up to, you know, the year 2020, it was quite easy to blow up on Instagram and like social media in general if you portray this perfect image of your life, if everything was just like, you know, the toxic positivity, like how everything in your life is perfect and just posting those perfect images of yours and, you know, your perfect face and perfect body, blah, 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 blah. But in the year 2020 and a bit in the late 2019, when all this social media is fake, Photoshop was acknowledged. It was a lot harder to blow up on social media, at least on Instagram. If you were, you know, the basic influencer with pretty Instagram feed, feed body, pretty face, this just doesn't happen because it's so overdone that no one gives a about it. Madison, even though she doesn't scream basic influencer, she blew up in the same period of time those did on Instagram. Sure, it happened because she was an artist, but it was also like, you know, the TikTok, oh, she's pretty, let's follow her. So since the, oh, she's pretty, let's follow her doesn't happen on Instagram because it has really complex algorithm, it happens on TikTok. This happened to Madison and it played a huge role in her success because people discovered her music through her being seen as pretty TikTok girl at first. If you don't know who Madison Beer is, I don't blame you. She's a C-list celebrity who was really struggling with her singing career until she came to TikTok and got popular for being pretty. A huge percentage of her following is from TikTok. She is a pretty girl, but her followers have speculated that she's gotten plastic surgery. Some think she's gotten a nose job, but everyone agrees that she has lip fillers. There's of course nothing wrong with having cosmetic procedures done. If you want to, that's completely your choice and no one should get shamed for it. But the problem is that many argue she is lying about her lip fillers. She claims that she hasn't had any work done at all. 
someone said you're not on natural though why would you lie about that because i'm not lying about that and i I'm lying about that at this point. And if y'all want to keep believing this till the day I die, keep going believe, believing it. But do an analysis based off more real photos. I sent them a photo from the same day, the same exact day that I was yeah, had a bigger nose and it was me looking down and smiling. So my nose looked like that, okay? And then a photo of me like this. Did y'all just see that difference or no? That? How's that work? Did I just get a, did I just get a no, nose job? That someone said just admit you filled your lips. I when I was younger I did. I've admitted this six times. And why does that matter? Even if I had lip filler, it doesn't change someone's whole face, bro. Which makes it kind of messed up. This oh she's just a pretty girl stereotype was made. It is quite reasonable that people don't agree that she's so successful in her music because she's pretty. But the amount of hate she got in my opinion, just wasn't normal. There's so much artists that are successful because of their looks. And if I compare them, not say it's good to compare, but if I compare some artists that are seen as good, and when I compare Madison Beer, looks have a lot to do with her. But her music, if you watch her music videos, songs in general, the visuals, I mean, of course, she, she got a lot of help from the crew, but I don't think that it's fair the amount of hate she got. When I saw Instagram comments, TikTok comments, not as much now, but last year in 2020, there was so much hate, obsession with her. I swear, like the whole day, it was so calm and I was preparing for this video. And now that I'm filming, everyone is so loud and just walking around. Oh my God, she's a that doesn't deserve her success. Why is she successful? She has no talent. She's plastic. Plastic surgery. I see most job, Botox, fillers, brow lift. Why is she even trying? Girl, it's so obvious. She can't even sing. You can go on her Instagram page and just see how much she posts about her concerts, about her new albums. You can see that she loves music and that she's an amazing artist. She was also talking about how she wouldn't be that artsy if she wasn't discovered. I had my dreams literally handed to me. Like, so I wasn't about to complain about anything. Like, no. I feel like. <laughs> it's, it's, it's bizarre, especially at that age, you don't know how to comprehend, like, what has happened to you but i think it took me getting my dreams and then having them honestly all ripped away from me to put me where i am now like i don't think i would be as artistic if i wasn't i don't think this is something to judge yeah she was discovered and then she discovered you know the artist in her that's also not something to hate on i don't know who is watching this but just imagine you're discovered by someone and then you get some clout and then you actually see oh I'm enjoying this or I'm enjoying that and then you improve. Would you like to see that people were hating on you after that? I don't think so. Madison is a millionaire with a pretty face and people don't like that. There is a particular YouTube video that put her down so much and it just gave off that self-righteous, judgmental vibe. Check this out. It was so much fun. Um, I was the first time I performed my single Hurts Like Hell and everyone went crazy. It was amazing. So Despite how Madison was grateful for her fans watching her performance, she still received hate for lying about her fans going crazy when they actually weren't. Anyways, if y'all thought this stage performance was awkward, well you probably haven't seen the tons of videos of Madison struggling to sound good on stage, such as these clips of Madison singing live while sounding so off-key. Excuse me? Are you mocking her that she feels like the concert went amazing? If public wasn't the most enthusiastic and if Madison felt that it was, why are you putting her down for it? About the Photoshop. I believe Madison did Photoshop some of her pictures and you know, use Facetune and fillers. 
filters and I don't think this is something to judge her because I think she knows it's obvious that she used a filter and why would she has to explain herself if it's that obvious she's being speculated by, by so many people in this entertainment industry that of course she feels a need to photoshop herself if that much pressure is on her if she's seen as this pretty perfect girl the standard she's also under a lot of pressure to maintain this image and then people judge her because of photoshopping her pictures and it's completely <sighs> but what also happens is that people take her pictures, photoshop them, post them and other people see those pictures and they're just like oh my god she's so plastic, oh my god the photoshop girl it's like Give her a break! I was thinking about making this video for so long, like I believe it's 8 months that I was thinking about making this video and it's not as relevant as it was before, but just like, oh my god, like I, I'm getting frustrated making this, but I just wanna tell. Let alone the professional Photoshop team she has, because first, she's an artist, of course they will take a picture of her in, you know the perfect lighting and then edited it for the cover of the music album of course they won't take a picture of her when she just walks out of the bathroom after she washed her face in the toilet when we do that i don't think we feel like taking pictures i had the money for the whole crew making the perfect photos of me and aesthetic of course i would take a chance accusations of plastic surgery were so harsh that Madison had to defend herself constantly for not having plastic surgery on live and on social media. Now this was all speculation, but one thing that really stuck out to me is that a lot of people seem very obsessed with her. It's almost a scary obsession. Let me know why this is. Why do you guys think that there's so much obsession around the way Madison looks beyond her being a beautiful girl? According to the people online, Madison Beer has had a nose job, lip filler, cheek filler, as well as a Botox brow lift. There were pages I found like this that said that Madison has had every single part of her face filled. But is it true? Let's go into my analysis and find out together. To start, we take a photo of her from when she was 15 and another photo of her from when she was 19. Now, just looking at these photos, I'm seeing the same size nose. Let's look at her analysis. So we take two images and we stick them on top of each other and then we work the translucency until we see how the facial features come together or they don't come together. Now do you see how everything looks lined up? That's usually a sign that there hasn't been any surgery. Now we go to the analysis from 2016 when she was 17 and 2019 when she was 20. Watch her nose, and also watch her cheeks and brows. Okay, let's do that again, and this time watch her lips. What do you see, you guys? What I see is that the only thing that has changed is her lips and her teeth. You do change a lot between 13 and 16, and I think that's what people are seeing and judging as plastic surgery, when in all likelihood it's probably just her blossoming. Madison Beer is mostly natural, and she's definitely natural enough to not get so much obsession about her looks online. <laughs> Imagine being this pretty that everyone accuses you of having plastic surgery and you, you just have to like deny it all the time. I mean, I can totally relate to it. It's just so annoying. Like, just let me be naturally pretty. <sighs> no, I'm just joking. But I was asked if I had Botox. Which I don't. That was weird as f I'm sorry. I know some people are annoyed that Madison is denying having lips done again. She said that she had lips done when she was younger, but it's kind of obvious she had them done now as well. So I kind of understand that people are mad about her having lips done, but also she does 
this on her photos she overlines her lips as well so this can also play a role i don't agree when people are just accusing her of having every single plastic surgery and beauty procedure like bruh she's just pretty accepted which bugged me the most when she said that she's annoyed that everyone calls her pretty just having people be like so the comments she got for this, oh my god, a bunch of people said Is she complaining about being pretty? It's not 10 people in real life, it's probably millions of people worldwide So of course she was upset She's complaining about being seen as just a pretty girl where music is something that she really likes Yes, she got a lot of following because of her looks But again, it wasn't her fault People followed her. It wasn't her fault. Just watch my previous video. You get overwhelmed, then you say something about it and not even complaining, but just express that you're overwhelmed and then people judge you for that. And then you're even more overwhelmed. Bro, just internet is so toxic. I love internet, but not the toxic side. Madison, you're privileged, but you also deserve the success and you don't deserve the hate you get. If you didn't know who Madison Beer is, now you know, but if you totally understand what am I trying to say with this video, feel free to comment your opinion, subscribe if you want to or don't, you can like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, or you can accuse me of having plastic surgery because I'm just so pretty. No, I'm kidding. Plastic surgery is not an insult. You really do it for yourself and you don't go overboard with it to the point when your face is like ruined. It's not an insult. And people who have their faces ruined by plastic surgery, they feel insecure enough about it and being judged about it. It's really not necessary to judge them more. Not gonna lie, when I see someone overdone with plastic surgery, I'm not gonna say, oh, girl power. I'm gonna have an opinion about it, but I will keep it to myself or, you know, to a close friend. It's not that hard. I almost forgot to mention there was this situation with Madison that she had a photo shoot on Black Lives matter protest i found some information that first she denied that photographer was taking pictures but then she kind of admitted that she knew i think that this behavior is problematic i'm not saying she's perfect but if you see this as problematic you can just address this girl it's not cool you used a black lives matter protest for a photo shoot don't attack every little detail about her or anyone <sighs> anyways sky loves you bye bye